Hello my friends, how are you? Welcome back to my candidate post, myself Ajay. Hope you all are doing good. So friends, in this working video, I am going to tell you in row 11 how to use reactive form part 1. So friends, before showing you working demo, I must say, please watch the video till the end and please subscribe my channel for latest Angular 11 updates. Friends, here we go. So friends, in this demo, I will show you how to add and validate reactive forms. So friends, now I will show you what for the demo. So friends, here you can see Angular 11 with reactive form is working fine. So friends, also for good layout, I have used Booster 4. So friends, here you can see two input fields with submit button. So friends, now I am going to press submit button. See friends, validation scan because of reactive form functionality. Also friends, I have made validations more better and secure. I will show you. Dear friends, first name must be at least six characters. So friends, I have to write six characters. Done. So, so friends, now I am going to write email. Oops, I have entered raw email, but I got also validations. Email must be valid email address. This is much better. The rich host at gmail.com. Now it's fine. Well, now you can press submit button. I have done, you have done with reactive form part one. So, friends, have you seen adding and validate? reactive form is looking fine and friends also I will share the code snippet link inside this video description so please get the code and friends that code is very easy you can add your application is very easily so friends now I am also going to show you some code snippet that I have added so friends very first we need to add we need to import Reactive form module into our app.module.ts file. Here is that file and code. And also inside import L. And friends, after it, we need to add some code into our app.component.ts file. Import form builder, form group, and validators. After it, here is form submit functionality. And here are the validations. And friends, here is my HTML code that I have added. So friends, I will again say, don't worry about the code. I will share the code snippet link inside this video description. So please get the code and use. And friends, if you will still have any kind of query, suggestion, or requirement, then please turn on this video. Also, you can contact me via my blog. I will share all the details inside this video description. So friends, in my next part, I will show you how to bind and how to send reactive form values. So friends, in the end, I must say thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.